one of the biggest things with uh, Hashimoto's or thyroid conditions is the energy levels. You feel like you don't want to do anything or you'll have really big bursts that manifest like manic depressive in some ways. You're just, sometimes you just don't want to do anything. And some days you're like, I've got to get everything done in the world. Um, so a lot of people experience those type of mood swings. You can get really, really angry and frustrated at the littlest of things, or you just don't care about anything at all. You're like, whatever, just the house can go to pot. Uh, uh, biggest things, uh, when once you are treated, even with the treatments, hair loss, you feel like a chemo patient. Your hair is just falling out everywhere. It's, it is everywhere. It, you get bald patches. It's just a real struggle. I'm only 40. I've had gray hair since I was 18 and pretty much a full head for the last 10 years. And that's been one of those symptoms and side effects of this and other conditions is that I feel like I'm 80 and I'm only 40 as far as my hair, energy levels, etc. cetera. Uh, thyroid conditions can be treated with a couple of things. They've got synthetics. Levothyroxine is one of the biggest ones. Synthroid, they're chemically produced to try and replace the hormone levels that are being lost in your thyroid to help your body regulate itself, um, try to make it work a little bit. Problem with the synthetic, it causes all the same problems. It, you still have tire exhaustion, you still have that hair loss, um, mood disorders, etc. But it makes it so your body may not have a heart attack later, I guess. So weighing the options. There's other ones that my mom is treated by uh, where it's actually more of a natural thyroid, but it's expensive, it's rare, most doctors don't prescribe it, it doesn't make money for the companies, so they don't make it. Um, and it's uh, pig-based, so they gather the thyroids from pigs and stuff like that and produce it. But it works a lot better because it's more natural with our bodies and it tends to regulate more naturally instead of counteracting the thyroid. If it starts working, it goes, oh, you're kicking in. I don't have to work as hard. And so my mom and my grandmother have been on those, but getting convincing your doctor that it's the right way to go. Um, other treatments are iodine and iodide. If I eat lots of shellfish, if I eat lots of shrimp and crab and lobster, it tends to help because iodide and iodine actually work with your thyroid to help too. So if only I could have and afford a seafood diet all the time, life would be good. But there are natural supplements that a lot of people take for iodine and iodine. But medical doctors are like, they don't believe it, but your natural homeopathic people are more into that end. And so I tend to do a balance of both. I try to do what I can both ways to help regulate where I'm at and who I am and <laughs> make myself work. But there are days you just, nothing works and you just go because you gotta go because you got kids. Or you go to sleep and let the world just go around you. <laughs>